What is up guys, it's Sobash. We are back today and we have the update. We got it early. I would say we we're beta testing it basically. Uh, what I'm doing is uh, the guy sent the APK over for me and we're taking a look at it and make sure everything works right. It's a bit buggy right now, um, but I do want to look at the pets while we actually have this early. So there are four new pets that are going to be added to the enhancement list, so you will be able to enhance them. And we're going to take a look at them since we do have the information. Uh, that's basically all that there is right now. No other things special that I can get. So don't get upset. Don't get your, your, your feels hurt or anything. It's okay. I'm not getting anything special for this. Um, all it does is let me look at basically the UI and how everything is working for now. Uh, but the first pet that is going to be able to have enhanced skills is Jib Jab. Uh, once you enhance him, these are the two skills. Uh, the first one is 3% uh, hit, 2% dodge, plus 50% damage dealt. And the other skill, the rare skill, is after casting Mojo, the player won't be affected by curse effects for 1.6 seconds. Um, the only question for that is what curse effects, what is classified as a curse effect, more or less. Uh, but I, I don't see myself using Jib Jab anytime soon. Of course, he's Evo 1. I don't plan on trying to get him anytime soon. We're working on other pets, so he's way, way up into the future. I'm sure he will hopefully be a little bit easier to get then. But um, I have no interest in going after Jib Jab currently. Uh, the next one is Ice Turtle that is being added to the enhancement list. And um, this one's kind of on the fence for me. Uh, Ice Turtle, you know, it helps out heals in Arena, but I've never evoed him up or leveled him up. But he is fairly easy to farm if I do need to do that. But his first ability, we're looking at uh, plus 3% to crit, 2,000 health, and plus 100 damage reduction. And his rare skill for the enhancement is after casting Qigong, the players and allied units healing effects increase by 30% for one second and it cannot stack okay and that's just level one so I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that the 30% would increase maybe or the seconds um, yeah I would go with the second one there the seconds are probably the thing that's gonna increase after leveling that right there up okay um, the one after ice turtle uh, would be master shoe uh, let's find him here I've not done anything with him yet but he is added to the enhancement list now uh, the first one uh, the stats are the crit damage plus six crit plus two percent and damage dealt plus 50 and the rare skill for the enhancement is after casting readiness the cooldown time of skills of nearby targets is doubled over the next one skill cast after one skill cast excluding normal attacks or 30 seconds the debuff disappears hit rate is very high okay the hit rate very high part does not make any sense out of that whatsoever but the rest of it does okay so basically what this skill is gonna let you do is after you use your rare skill which is readiness uh, which what this does is this reduces the cooldown of the player skill okay not only is that gonna reduce the cooldown of your skill it's going to increase the cooldown of the, your opponent's skills. So I can see where that would come in handy in PvP. Um, moving to the last one that is on the list, that is Pyrotar. That is the last one that was added for enhancements. Uh, I'm gonna look at it, 3000 health plus 2% to crit resist and 100 to damage reduction. And his rare skill the enhanced version of it is after casting bull rush there's a 50 percent chance to prolong the duration of the rare skill for 0.2 seconds when the player gets crit damage okay so if you got 100 percent crit which i don't see why you would not you should always get this uh from that uh but the 50 percent chance you know I don't think that itself is going to change. I think the duration would go up if you level it up. Uh, but we will see soon on these things. Um, this update comes out in 10 days. 
Uh, they did change the UI around. Um, it made everything nice and Valentine's Day and pretty and stuff. And the wheel is still in. Um, I'm assuming they're going to be leaving it in for this because they did update it to the Valentine UI as well. Uh, other than that, nothing major has been added to this version that I currently have. Um, the only other thing is the Talismans, but none of them are in the game for me yet. So there's nothing we can really do for that. And another thing we can look at is the outfit that is coming out. Um, the outfit they posted, I believe it was today or yesterday, on their Facebook page. And the link shoots you over to their website. Uh, that's where they did the write-up on them at. Uh, tells you everything, but I believe I should be able to go in here and go to outfit and just go to the bottom of this thing. Uh, let's get into the preview mode. Go down, and this is the one for the panda, and that's what it looks like. The stats on this are 2500 damage, 2500 health, and a plus 10% to critical hit rate, and the weapon 2500 damage, 2500 health as well and net damage of plus 10,000. So if you missed out on that New Year's outfit, guys, you're gonna wanna pick this outfit up when it comes out. You've got 10 days prior notice right now to farm, which I'm guessing is gonna cost 1,999 diamonds. So there's no reason why you should not be able to farm that. Uh, very highly recommended. Uh, I mean, even compare it to the outfit that I'm currently wearing, which is the new year's one and let's take a look i mean the stats on it it's got more damage so i may end up picking this up myself i actually am um we're looking at 2500 more damage and yeah that's that's a pretty good chunk and another reason i'm going to pick that up is because look at this okay on the new year's set the net damage was swapped so I can actually pick this up again and the net damage would be put on the weapon could swap them in and out that's damage reduction on that one and the outfit on that one that's plus 10 to critical hit rate critical hit rates very not that hard to come by um, so I wouldn't be interested in that part of the outfit I mean it does have nice damage but I don't know if it's worth it um, we'll play around with it and see when it comes out, um, and we'll go from there. We'll see what happens with it, uh, but definitely pick that up when it does come out, guys. Uh, like I said, you do have a 10-day notice. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Hit that like button, guys. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.